Hello friends, I'm the Cutsy Gamer. We are back with Monster Hunter World 2. Oh no, Monster Hunter World. Just Monster Hunter World. It's been a long day. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm excited. But we're going to go up to the canteen to start this. Accept our assignment. So we got to talk to the handler. Right on time. Sounds good. Sounds like a good plan to me. What are we waiting for? The new world awaits. Just post a new quest. Assignments complete these to advance the story. Optional favors for NPCs more likely to become available to meet necessary requirements. You can take on optional many times as you like. Investigations are special issues. You can take a limited number of times, and events are exclusively for online play. Cool. So all we have is assignments though. Jagras of the Ancient Forest. Sword Magnaros appearance. So, look, so we can see we got the conditions none. Failure is time expires where we faint three times. We see what other monsters will be present. Time limit, reward, slaying. The area. We got this. You're free to explore Astera until preparations for the cat quest are complete. Grab a meal from the canteen, shore up on your supplies. Get the latest gear from the smithy and armor, then adjust your equipment and organize your items. You can take a look in the upper left hand corner. Sounds good to me. So we can go, because we're all alone. Such a sad life. rules. Rule number one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Very. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. We ran into some Jagras. <laughs> Sorry. The small monsters, remember? Mm-hmm. I think we saw them somewhere But this time we have here. weapon. Want to check it out? Sounds like a good plan to me. Rule number two, use the supply box. Okay. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Yeah. Ready to go. Oh, yeah. Hmm. First aid meds restore a small amount of health. Easy rations restore a small amount of stamina. Empty files. Nope, we can't take them because we're full on those. Let's look on our items. Since it says we already have stuff. Potions, antidotes, rations. Mm, raw meat to be cooked. Sweets already got stuff, so I'm going to go to the item bar because I already know about this. So this is going to make it easy for us to get to all the stuff we need to use. So we got potions and antidotes in the right places. If you see down here in the right hand corner, I'm going to use my directional pad to go through what I need. And then I use my item by hitting, I believe it, yeah, X. So I'm going to go ahead and have a going? potion ready. Sounds good to me. Uh -huh. Oops, look at that. It's already telling us what we need to do. Be careful. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Mm hmm. I'll mark gathering sites and monster Someone... positions on the wildlife map for you. Oh, thank you, homegirl. You gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Mm, I love that. Because I'm to continue to gather as much items Over as we here. can. Very similar to needle berries. You used to make a spread ammo and red pits. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. Yeah, so we do like that, and then we hit the back. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's right see here. You hold up when you're on your own. Let's do this.
Yep, I have no shame. I don't remember any of the songs. For, 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 for Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Nope. Nope, completely messed it up. Right, here we go. We're gonna... Here we go, now we can cast a song. I'll talk about songs in a second. I need to end this. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. So this is a buff. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. So as you see right here in the upper left right hand corner, these are all the songs I can cast, depending on the notes I play. I currently only have an attack up buff. Normally in more hardcore Over situations, I'll cast all my buffs before I even go into territory. Enemy territory. So I guess we need to follow him. But we're gonna, I wanna take my time getting all the equipment I can get, all the items to build stuff. Whoops. Yep. So the cool thing I love about the hunting horn is that you when you cast a song, a lot of damage. And if you and if you click it again, you double cast it. Cause because they can uh you can you can technically cast it um twice. So you see right now I would lined up for a defense small, defense up small. But if I cast it twice, defense up large. Yeah, we did it. We did it. And for some reason, when the objective is complete, they cannot target you. So we can go and harvest all of their friends. I'm sorry, friends. What's happening right here? Maybe a bug. I'm doing a really horrible job of explaining how to... Because I'm already pretty adept at using the hunting horn. I may, since this episode is technically only going to be about barely 10 minutes, I may just go into the practice range and give you all some examples of showing off the hunting horn. So I'm collecting bones. Collecting anything I can get. So get used to these screens because we're going to be seeing them a lot. So that was a level one star because we're beginners. So we got a lot of stuff. I'm just going to go down here and say, assume we're going to take all of it. Ooh, and the Palco got me some stuff. Thank you, Palco. Got some money. Palco level leveled up. So their attack and defense increased. And we got a new cutscene added. I guess I'm gonna narrate everything that they don't narrate. Good to see you. Uh-huh. Hmm. Listen up. Sounds like a plan. A Kestodon herd. We're gonna call their numbers again. Well, not again. We're gonna be. You know how to part on quests with other players via online. Turn on voice chat function now. Sure. Why not? All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I just realized I was already in a server with a bunch of people, so probably not the best idea for me to be talking and chatting it up, narrating, and then be like, what are you talking about? So first we're gonna go to the smithy. We're not gonna touch any of these little things because we're gonna there first. Mm. 
Sounds good to me. You can use monster materials and ore to forge and upgrade equipment. Sounds like a good plan to me, so we're gonna... So there you go, you can see that there's a lot of trees. And we can add stuff to our wish list to know when we can get it. And they're always very excited. I'm very excited. So you see, it's got 40 more damage to it. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to my wish list. Actually, do I want to... Yeah, I'm just going to keep... Keep that to where it's going to... Ooh, can we get... Yeah, so we can create stuff from scratch. So you can upgrade and forge. And yes, there are skills to stop. So this is what we got now. We can make some Jagra stuff. So you can see it's clearly got the better... Like, four defense to six. Plus, look at this. So none of these have any... Below this, they have skills. There's a timer going off, sorry. So I think I'm gonna get bone for attack boost. And in fact, this is what this is gonna be my bay soon. Horn Miestro. Let me see, how do we extends the melodies, affect duration, increases health recovery, which is pretty awesome. You think I'm gonna you I'm gonna make one of these. I'm gonna skip through the uh, that fun cutscene. I'm gonna get that attack boost going. Slugger. Stun power. And this is scout fly range that expands my scout fly detection. Of course, attack boost. Increased attack. Well. What's entomologist? Increases the chances of corpse being left behind. I really like the bone. So I Ooh, Kestodon shells. So, it behooves me to use those instead. Look at that, so. Stuff was sent to my item box. A new tutorial was added. Get my login bonus. Hmm. Well, thank you. So, like I said, since this episode would be pretty, pretty quick, I'm going to go into the training camp and show you just how... I use I don't mind it's right I want to go to the training area So this just helps you to to test everything out. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. So of course you draw. Ready your weapon. So if you hit Y, it's the basic. It's a basic forward attack. And if you hit it again, it's a sweeping attack. So the B, I love B because it's just a clear. If you do a forward B, it's a very clear. Um, like attacking everything in front of you in a wide arc. Now, if you're standing still, it's just upwards, which is great for enemies that are above you. Now, if you press Y and B together, goes back, then forward. So yes, it's multi-directional. So if you see in the left-hand corner, we're stacking up notes. And we see in the right-hand corner what sort of songs you can play. So let's say we want to attack up. So we're gonna go Red B, Red B. 
So technically, with all the, the fun stuff we're doing, we, we're already casting attack up, but we're going to ignore that. And then say we want defense up. So, Y, Y, B, Y, B. Then you hit the back bumper, the back right bumper. And like I said, it's only casting smalls. So if you, so if we hit it twice, it changes it to large. So self-improvement is a little bit interesting. And increases your movement speed, then if you cast it again, I'm trying to remember what it says, I think it's attack speed, so movement speed, then attack up and deflected attack prevention. So it's pretty awesome. And you can tax, uh, uh, you can chain stuff too. So if you notice at attack up, the red, the, the last note is a red. And in health boost, the first notes are red. So I'm going to cast, I'm going to prepare, attack up. Then I'm only going to hit the blue and the white. And there we go. I got attack up and health boost. And I, I didn't have to press all the buttons. So that is the hunting horn. And depending on your on the direction when you cast the the song, de depending on the direction, the hunting horn will play in a different direction. So yeah, just so you know. Well, friends, I'm the Cutsa Gamer. Thank y'all for watching. This is Monster Hunter World. Have a good one. Adios.